rescuing the other officers seen in the video. We're not trying to stop. Hurry up and take the picture, you little <laughs> And he said, I ain't no <laughs> Just 14 days after the now viral moment of an officer assaulting a 19-year-old carjacking suspect, a lawsuit has officially been filed against the city of Warren on behalf of Jaquan Smith and Fighter Law. He's about double the size of him. The 30-page complaint is now seeking $50 million in damages. Jaquan's aunt, Tanisha Banks, is just happy he's still here. It's the first thing that ran across my mind. Did he survive? Commissioner Bill Dwyer commenting on how quickly the lawsuit was filed. Why do they have to rush to do that? I wish I could have got it filed sooner, but uh, uh, we did it as fast as we possibly could. The big question is whether or not Jaquan received any injuries in the assault. He was treated at the hospital for his injuries and he was cleared of no injuries. He is still, as of this day, having issues with uh, head injuries. He's having headaches, dizziness, nausea, consistent with... Uh, uh, traumatic brain injury. Another question is whether the other two officers involved actually intervened. They were actors, they were part of this brutality, and they will be held responsible as well. They didn't see what Roderick, the officer had done at the beginning. They came in when he was down on the ground, and they don't know, so, but when uh, the officer started banging his head, that's when they said, enough, it's enough. They reported immediately to the... Arguing the other officers seen in the video